What's up guys and welcome to the fourth tutorial of programming in Java using Eclipse and in this tutorial it's all about instance variables so without further ado let's start the video okay so the first thing you gotta do is right click this and now make a class and call this class employee so and then we can click this to press finish okay so public class employee we can say public string name and what is this this instance variable is visible for any class and then we can move on to the next line and say public double salary so salary variable is visible in employee class only now we can say public employee string EMP name curly braces and say name equals copy this paste that there close that off and the name variable is assigned in the constructor we can now write public void set salary and say double EMP sal curly brace move to the next line and salary equals copy this paste it there close it off and that should work yes the salary variable is assigned a value and then the next line we can say public void print EMP so EMP parentheses curly braces move to the next line say so system out print the name is whatever after we declare it right on the bottom and then we can copy this whole line and then change the name to salary and this should be salary too so this method prints out the employees details right at the bottom we can get rid of all of this and start assigning and making the name and whatever the salary is so I can say employee Emp one equals new employee Mike and copy this set salary to a grand. next line will be emp1 again dot set only one set print there you go close that off and hopefully hopefully when we compile this we should get the name and the salary there you go name is mike and salary is a grand so we have a program that demonstrates instance variables where it says public string name, this instance variable is a variable for any class. Next line, salary variable is visible in the employee class only. Where it says public employee string emp name, name equals emp name. The name variable is assigned in the constructor and right at the bottom or not after that, the salary variable is assigned a value. And then this is the printing method. The, this method prints the employee details and these are the details okay so all right that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next tutorial thanks for now